For the first time in a few years, Formula 1 cars have taken on a new look. A better look, if you will. And of course, one thing of interest this time of year is the liveries of the cars, especially in a year like this. But who does have the best and worst liveries on the grid for 2022? Their original livery before the world turned toxic is easily the worst on the grid, for pretty obvious reasons. But their replacement livery, which is their standard one without a title sponsor, is boring and lame, which keeps them as having the worst livery. With new sponsor BWT, who are known for turning Force India pink a few years ago, we knew this team would feature pink in some way, shape or form. And when they revealed their car, what they revealed was a mix of the pink with last year's Alpine blue. But this mix of colours, in my view, just doesn't work. But the reason I think this points to a preference I just have when it comes to car liveries. The car liveries I tend to like or even love are the ones with a predominant colour rather than a mix. That's not to say I don't think car liveries with a mix of colours can't be good, but most of the time a predominant colour for a car is what I prefer. And in this case, when you actually take a look at the special livery they're using for the first two races in 2022, it is actually much better than the one they are using for the season, with a lot more pink making the car look nicer. But that is only a special livery, sadly, with the pink and blue mix taking hold. Pink and blue, for me, just doesn't go well together. You could probably say the same for McLaren when it comes to certain colour mixing too. These two colours, and especially the brightness of the blue, makes this car the worst looking McLaren since the McLaren Honda Parachute Project of 2015. I actually liked it when McLaren started to throw in some blue with their predominant orange colour a few years ago, but that was back when the blue had a darker and nicer looking tone when mixing with its predominant colour. Now it's just too bright and stands out like a sore thumb. Let's hope it goes a lot quicker than it looks. The team that continues to look for a way to break into the top bracket of Formula 1 teams also continues to produce a decent livery. I'll be honest in saying it still isn't and never will be as good as the Toro Rosso livery, but it's just fine. Nothing bad, but nothing great. Just fine. Maybe just like their upcoming season. In 2020 and 2021, the gods of F1 donned an all-black sexy livery to rightfully stand for equality during a difficult social climate. For 2022, though, they have decided to return to their iconic silver livery, which I'm kind of disappointed but also not surprised by. I liked the all-black livery a lot more so than the silver, but this callback to their roots was inevitable. I've never really loved or really liked the silver livery, and it's always really been a 5 or a 6 out of 10 look. Whether it's silver or black though, this team is still very much to be feared with more history in 2022 to be made for Mercedes. In a teaser video, we heard that Williams' new colour scheme would be more Williams. What we got was a 2001 Prost F1 car, which isn't necessarily bad. The Prost cars back then, in my opinion, actually looked quite decent, but what makes this better is that kind of colour scheme on these 2022 spec of cars. It looks a nice, nimble machine that hopefully pushes Williams further up the grid and more so back to where they belong. This team's progress, or lack thereof, might render them useless to many, but at least their liveries have been nice over the last few years, and this one certainly does not disappoint. This year's livery is made even nicer than the previous ones, with its shade of red more predominant than before, and that will make this car certainly a looker in 2022. And that is probably the only positive you will get out of this team. We all love the classic racing British green, and this year's Aston Martin delivers another beautiful addition to that. Given the colours of the team, it is pretty hard to make a bad-looking Aston Martin livery, so it didn't take much effort to come up with this attractive beast. Let's hope they start living up to their potential. We all could have guessed that the usual livery colours would be maintained, but that doesn't mean to say it doesn't look great. The 2022 Red Bull seeks to continue the success of last year, but this time with a new title sponsor in Oracle. The sponsor sticker fits well on the side of the car, as the eye-watering partnership will begin this season. Also, great to see the number one return to an F1 car for the first time since Sebastian Vettel's 2014 Red Bull. We await to see whether Verstappen moving away from number 44 act as a curse in his title defence. 
For every F1 season, we know what the colour of the world's most famous racing team will be. Yet, we are always intrigued. This Ferrari, though, wasn't just any old Ferrari. This is probably the best, or at least one of the best Ferrari cars I have ever seen. It is truly the stuff dreams are made of. If this car goes as it looks, then it will return the Scuderia to the glory days. That happening though for the moment is just a dream with much still to be proven about whether this year's Scarlet Ferrari is indeed a title contender. And that guys is my top 10 car liveries list for 2022. Now I want to hear from you guys as to what you think the best and worst liveries on the 2022 grid are. And you can do so by commenting down below. Sorry this wasn't the longest video in the world, but to be honest, these type of videos aren't really supposed to be that long. There's not that much, you know, deep analysis that really goes into car liveries. Also, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new for more content like this. And until my next video coming out very soon, guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.